Hey guys, Bruno here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019 and our John D. Rags to Riches series here at Mercury Farm. So here we are for another episode where finally we're going to start harvesting our corn here. Turn into some silage and um, make on some cash, hopefully. Right, so let's jump up into our forage harvester here. We're going to hire a worker. Let's line him up. Hire worker, and then we'll jump in our tractor here. Start him up. Are you gonna throw it into the trailer here, or what? Um, okay. I thought I pressed H, but maybe I didn't. Anyway, travel along the side here. And, um... Oh, Jesus. We're not going to get very far. Oh, we need to come back and unload. Look at that. Pretty much full already. We are full already. So we're going to have to go with an alternate strategy here, I think. Um, does anywhere you want to buy chaff at the moment? Ah, uh, that's wood chips. So nowhere wants to buy chaff. Well, that's a shame. Because <laughs> we're going to need some money pretty quick. Um, I think what I want to do is start at one end and sort of fill the bunker right up. Uh, why not? Ah, oh, that could be why, because we're tipping. Can we tip another way, or is it only... I think it might only be side tipping, isn't it? Oh no, there you go. Backside, that's what I wanted. Just want to sort of get right back to here. And tip off. So start here somewhere, tip off, and then... Um, get one whole side sort of filled up uh, can we get out of here yep there we go go back and unload him again so this is going to take quite some time we really need to potentially purchase a truck and trailer combination here to get this done because it's um, going to take quite a while. We can't borrow any more money. Um, he's missing a little bit. That's right, if we run over it, it'll be fine. Let's have a look at the truck. So is this only... Pretty much is only a hook lift truck, so... Let's... Oh, we're bloody full already. To purchase a truck, it's going to cost us a fair amount. What about um, trailers? What sort of stuff do we have trailer-wise for the hook lift? 48,000. 48, no, 45, 48,000. That's only 10 grand. That's not bad. 45,000, that's 48,000. But I think... Either one of those will be fine. So we're going to need um, 510 plus U. So 7.5 grand. I want to go with John Deere. Uh, I'm not even sure what that is. Stainless steel. Oh, that's like the, stop, the top there. Okay, so chrome. Uh, John Deere yellow. No, it looks stupid. Black. Change the engine setup, which doesn't really matter. Uh, three axles. I think three axles type one. Or even two axles would be good. So about, yeah, seven and a half grand we're sort of going to need. I don't know where we're going to get that sort of money from. 
at this point in time. I know the field's over there ready to go, but actually there's a couple of bales there, but that's only going to be about eight grand, so that'll only get us about four grand in the clear. Right, let's back back. So we, we are in a deficit. Um, the bank has already called us and let us know that we're behind on our loan behind on our money so we need to get that rectified in the next couple of days otherwise they will come down to the farm and start taking equipment off us so yeah we don't want to go into too much debt too early on this is going to take forever look at that look how far we've gone we've unloaded twice already Yeah, this is going to take quite some time. Anyway, we'll be alright. We'll get it going. Let's have a look in our garage and see what we have available to sell. We could probably get rid of this guy. Don't really need him anymore, including you. Uh, the Grank Puller can go because we're not going to use that anymore. We can get rid of you, we're not going to use that anymore. Uh, all this other stuff. Uh, we're gonna, Jesus, we're full again already. We're gonna keep, um, what do we got? We're still in a negative. I think that can go. We're not gonna use that anymore. And I think even this farm tech trailer can probably go. And that'll at least get us money we need. So it's 14,000 litres. We've only gone that far so even with the truck it's still going to take us quite some time but it'll be a lot quicker than doing it this way. Alright so we'll back this guy up. Oop. All over the shop. Start to unload. I'll just sit sort of in the one spot until the chaff sort of stops coming out. Then we'll slowly move forward. Which we don't need to do right there. Good. Alright, so let's go back in. Get rid of you. Head back over here. Park this tractor up. So we're going to need to look at how we're going to um, really load all this up. Because I think we can get a loading wagon, um, 56,500, but that's quite bloody expensive, as you can see. Um, so I do think us going this guy will work out well in the long run. Chrome, black... Um, I think the two axles type 2 will lease you then as I said we'll go into here and we'll grab I'm in two minds whether they get that one or this one I think this one cheaper and it looks better um, at least there we go Alright, so we can extend, what does this do? Ah, I think that's for the extra wheel at the back, which we don't have. So we'll extend that. Get it ready to pick up this trailer. We don't want to refill the container. Get that loaded on. Head down, get ready to start unloading. Oops, our um, forage harvester. We are going to go quite quick heading back down because we want to get there as quickly as possible. It's going to take a fair while to get all this done, as I said. Uh, this is where it would be good to have um, 
horseplay to get this set up doing its own sort of thing. So obviously we've got this on the back, we can dump this off somewhere, then we can use this truck to um, weed, we can use it to fertilise, we can use it to do manure slurry, I think we can even use this to transport milk as well. Um, there's plenty of stuff we can do with this with this truck. So it's going to be quite beneficial for us in the long run. Just hoping it's um, going to minimise our travel time. Right, tip side back, crane door back, yep, so it's only got the two tip sides which is fine. I will apologise if I'm pressing the keys weird today. I've got um, a band-aid on my left, um, second left finger. I don't know. Yeah, next to my, in between my pinky and my middle finger. So, with me trying to press buttons, I usually use that finger a lot to press buttons. I find it, it's a bit weird at the moment. Alright, so, this is going to be a lot better. We're going to be able to get it done a lot quicker. Can help out a lot. I don't know if um, corn silage or corn chaff is something that they do in like in the UK or not. Um, I'm sure somebody would do it somewhere in the UK, but if not, we're bringing our American tractors and our American way of life over here to England. Just sort of just change things up a little bit. Show the bombs what else we can do. So that's a lot better. It did cost us a little bit of money. It's still going to take quite some time for us to get this done, but it's going to be a lot quicker than doing it the other way. On every bit of the crop. Doesn't matter. So it's going to be interesting to see um, how this is going to tip. It's got 45,000 litres in it compared to the 14 that we did before. So it'll come in nice and steady. Now one thing I'm going to be worried about is compaction because we're not compacting as we go, what we usually do. Um, I guess we can probably look at running it out like this, compacting as we go. Thing I'm worried about is having to drive over it all again. All right, there we go. That's our first load. We still haven't done one run yet. Oh, as I said, it's going to be a long, long process, but it's going to be a lot of money when we get to that point. Um, one thing I'm going to look at is we can either load the solage out with conveyor belts, conveyor system, or we'll have to use it, um, load it out using front loaders. But I think with our front loader, oops, that front loader, the bucket we've got is 2,000 litres, that's the Alice Chalmers one, 1,200, 710, so not very big. Uh, wheel loaders, 3,000 litres, 5,000 litres silage fork. We don't have a John Deere wheel loader, I don't think, so... We'll have to either keep an eye out for one, or as I said, we'll have to look at... Um, Lopping him. Where are you going? Right, there we go. We'll have to look at um, yeah, either like a John Deere front loader, which I haven't seen one as yet, or we're going to have to look at um, the conveyor belt system. I've seen a few new conveyor belts available, so that might be the way to go, depending on how quickly they actually load being off the ground there. I still haven't seen like a mixing station, a placeable mixing station which mixes everything for cow food. I haven't seen a station where we either put grass or chaff or hay in which turns into silage, like a manual silage station, which would be pretty cool as well. 
So I'm hoping some of those mods sort of come reasonably soon. Okay. Another full load. So that's going to be over 100,000 litres already. So it's going to take um, quite some time to get this field done, but it's going to be a lot of income once we actually get to that stage. Ooh, try not to go breaking things. This thing doesn't want to stop very quick once it's fully loaded. Right, let's back this right up. I think we'll just do what we are doing before. Back this right up and just sort of tip. So you can see where it sort of stops and then I'll roll forward a bit, let it keep tipping. It doesn't really want to take too much out of the back here. It's quite strange, it should be taking more than that. I don't want to be driving along and unloading but we might have to. Yeah, I think you guys sort of know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to just massively fill up one end and then come back and do the other end after that. Do one whole side. Right, swing around and get into place again. That's um, shooting from miles away. Run alongside again. So hopefully we get all the way down the end of the field this time, but I don't know how we're going to go. We do have double yield on, so that's probably another reason why we're getting so much chaff because of the double yield, and there's no wastage at all with this. Whereas when we're harvesting corn, you'll see it get munched up and get a lot thrown out the back. Whereas now there's not a lot getting thrown out because we're um not wasting a lot. Just want to look for a decent screenshot. There you go. Probably not ideal, but it'll do. This is where it'll be handy to do a multiplayer. So while I'm getting loaded, the other truck will be tipping off. While I'm tipping off, the next truck will be coming in and getting loaded. So that's where um, I said multiplayer will be really handy. Alright, I'm just going to start to empty out here. Try not to go any wider back than or any further back than what we already have. It's kind of unloading a little bit strange. What I'll do we might have to actually do what I didn't want to do and actually run it out when we go to unload. I'm sneak around through this field. There's no crop on it, so it shouldn't hurt. In fact, I don't think I've seen a crop on there at all. Tell me if I'm wrong, there might have been a crop there, but I don't think I've seen one. Alright, so we're going to need to obviously have a look at some other stuff as well so we're going to need to look at miscellaneous now where are they um levelers there we go some sort of leveling system to be able to level all this out help us to be able to get the truck in like coming through like this probably isn't the 
best way to go, but let's do that. We'll run it out. And we'll come back in again. So by the time he's turned around, yep, we should be ready to go. So we'll come back in the other end again and we'll start running it all out. Run alongside him again. Certainly going to have a huge amount of silage available to sell once we get to that point. So, I really hope you guys have been enjoying the content on the channel so far, especially uh, farming some way to 2019 stuff. It's still going to continue on. For these two series for now, um, nothing new. Nothing new will come from FS19 for a little while. I don't think these two series, these two series, will stick around our two rags to riches series. Um, and then we we'll sort of look at something new once we sort of get to the end point of either this series or our other series. So if you guys got any ideas for a brand new series, let me know. Leave it in the comment section. Um, these two series are still going really really well so they're going to stick around for quite some time to come I think um, hopefully by the time this video has gone out um, Stocky Wizard might have started uploading to the channel if not he'll be uploading soon um, he'll be running um, alongside us as a content creator on our channel so he'll be doing different stuff to what we do he won't be doing any FS19 stuff he'll be doing his own sort of thing. He does enjoy doing a lot of first person shooters and um, games sort of like, you know, Assassin's Creed and Dark Souls and all that sort of stuff. So it'll be a little bit different content on the channel than you guys are used to, but um, hopefully you guys will still be able to enjoy it just as much as you enjoy what I do. I sort of had the idea um, sort of thinking about um, what he's doing at the moment. He has previously started his own YouTube channel once I sort of started mine and I started to become successful. He thought he might try and do the same thing because he loves gaming just as much as I do. Um, he started a channel called Ready Player One um, with a friend of his and that sort of really didn't take off. And then he sort of started live streaming and over on Twitch and that was reasonably successful but due to family commitments and work and um, him starting his own business and stuff he sort of had to slow down on all of that and completely stop in the end but now he's working in the mining industry similar to me driving trucks as well so he does a seven day fortnight and gets a bit of time off during the week to be able to record and that sort of stuff now whereas before when he was running his own business and working for himself he was working you know sometimes 14 days a week or 14 days a week 14 days a fortnight, 7 days a week or whatever you want to call it, so it's quite busy. He still owns his own company, um, but he has a friend of his um, running, not running the business, but doing all the work for him, and he's still taking care of the books and all that sort of technical stuff, but he's got someone um, doing all the work while he has started his new job in the mine, so... He's still quite busy, but he's certainly going to look at um, doing some YouTube stuff. And he's quite excited, as am I, to sort of bring him to the channel and do something a little bit different. Not just for me and the channel, but for all you guys as well. Um, some of you guys probably get sick of seeing the stuff that I put up, but him sort of doing a whole different genre to me, I thought would be pretty cool, pretty beneficial to the channel. and. Um, even some of you guys, because even though the majority of you are probably here for the farming simulator stuff, um, if you're anything like me, you sort of um, enjoy farming simulator, but there's also a lot of other genres and a lot of other games that you enjoy as well, so you're not just a, a one-trick pony. Yeah, hopefully he'll be um, hopefully he'll be uploading by now or sometime soon, hopefully this week or maybe next if he hasn't uploaded already. But um, yeah, make him feel welcome, and if you have any kind words for him, leave it in the comment section. Make sure you give him some feedback, whether it be um, like positive or maybe even just 
friendly criticism to try and get him to to improve certain things here or there you know he's more than happy to take criticism when it's friendly and not you know abusive as am i you know no, no one's perfect and we can always you know, improve things so feel free to, to help him out but please um make him welcome and take care of him like you guys have with me and make sure you throw some likes at him and some comments and encourage him to continue on and hopefully we can do some great things together as part of um part of the channel really will be exciting times ahead i hope at the moment where are we we're not even geez we're not even halfway through this harvest already it's taking quite a while um i think our next episode might be a time lapse as much as i don't want to do a time lapse i think our next episode will be a time lapse of um us finishing this harvest so it's probably going to take us another hour maybe more to get this harvest completely done so a time lapse maybe times five or something you know turn an hour time lapse in an hour episode into like a 10 minute time lapse or something would be pretty good I know you guys don't want to come back with another episode or two episodes of me just harvesting corn silage it's not going to be that exciting for you guys at all Right, there we go so we're running it out reasonably well hopefully it'll um, start compacting down a little bit more once we start filling on top again so 329,000 litres already once we start filling on top if those bits are already there it'll start to com compact down a little bit more I hope and um, we'll have a lot less to do at the end but I want to try and fill it up as full as we can. This whole field is probably going to be a million, million and a half litres of chaff, maybe. By the time we're done, it's 300,000 litres, we're not even halfway, so. So, yeah, maybe, maybe closer to a million than a million and a half, but still. A million litres of chaff is going to be um, quite an income. When you look at silage being 537. So if we go my calculator, I can find where it is. So 1 million divided by 1,000 equals 1,000 times, say, 500. It's half a million dollars worth of silage just in this field itself. Possibly more. So we're going to make a good amount of money that's going to allow us to purchase this field here get rid of all these trees join all these fields together you know all that sort of thing and have like a massive either one big field over there or have two medium sized long fields for two other crops so we're going to need um, some straw for our cattle we're going to need some grass we might even have like a grass field uh, then again we don't really need grass because we've got the corn going here making chaff which is making the silage so yeah I don't know maybe have like a straw field or something and a canola field something like that well, I guess we'll have to have a look at it and work out what we're going to do alright go okay, run this out again but we're um I think we'll um, finish the episode here we're just about at half an hour time is just about ready to go off so we might as well end it here we're getting stuck a little bit here which isn't ideal there we go so yeah we'll end the episode here it's a big hump hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did as always smash that like button Leave a comment, let me know if you would like the next episode to be a time lapse of finish things, finishing this off. If you like the idea of um, purchasing that field next, cutting down all those trees and turning it into either one massive field, two smaller fields. But um, keep in mind we're going to go into the cow production, so one will be wheat, one might be grass, or might be a whole wheat field there. I don't know. We'll work it out. But um, yeah, 
you guys let me know what you think. If you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Brito. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.